Welcome to MusicMoveIt.com. I am Torio, and today I want to discuss how to make money overseas. I've been getting a lot of comments about this subject, and a lot of people want to know how can they get popular and start making money overseas. Well, the main thing some of you may or may not realize is if you have a decent di digital distributor like TuneCore or any of the other ones, you're already selling overseas or you have the potential to do it already because they list you in every market. And that includes markets in Japan, the UK, all that good stuff. So it's if people know about you in those areas, they can look you up on their iTunes for that area or they can... Um, Amazon, they can find you on things like that and they can buy your music. So you have the potential to already sell there and stream. So how can you get popular? Well, honestly, you have to do a tour over there. You can start doing little things like maybe you can go on Facebook and you can place an ad for your music. Have like a little video in the ad or the picture of the album cover or whatever you want. Go to Facebook ads, obviously, and you can Focus your ads to show in those markets worldwide, wherever you want, for the most part, as long as they show in those areas. So when you're doing the ads, they ask you, where do you want this ad to be shown? And you could pick just the United States. You can pick uh, Italy. You can pick Ireland. You can pick whatever you want, and they will show it, that ad, in those areas. So it's one way, but you kind of need a, somewhat of a fan base over there already. Like I've known artists that they're bigger in like Germany than they are in the United States and they're a US artist. So it's interesting. From what I heard, a lot of people overseas love hearing American hip hop or American rock or country and they're more open and accepting of it. So, but then a lot of indie artists, because of that, they go and they tour like Denmark. They'll do uh, Tokyo if, if they can it's expensive but they can they, they get all these tours going overseas and they they make decent money and these aren't even artists that are like worldwide known these are artists that are making a living doing music and living comfortably they may not be like on VH1 or MTV every week but they're still doing it and that's all that counts you want to be able to live comfortably off your music and make it a career fame will always come down the line if you make it that far for sure now how do you set up these tours? You gotta call. You gotta call. You gotta try to make a connection wherever you wanna go. Probably easier to start like in the UK where there's a lot of English speaking folks and you can call different clubs over there. You can try to find tour promoters or just call clubs that are popular that you've heard of or do some research. What rock clubs are popular in this section of the UK? Call them, ask to see who books their shows and ask to talk to them. If you do shows over there, it's expensive as hell. But if you were able to travel and do shows like that, your fan base will blossom for sure. So keep that in mind. Now, also, I know you're gonna wonder, how do I get my royalties and things like that? Well, if you have like TuneCore, obviously they collect on your behalf. Now, a lot of people get mixed up what of what like ASCAP collects for or BMI, what they collect for and what TuneCore collects for as well. Well, it's separate. TuneCore collects mechanical royalties. So I have a list right here that I'm looking at and it says specifically that TuneCore Publishing collects the following type of royalties. They collect mechanicals, which is song writer royalties from physical products such as CDs and vinyl. They collect streaming mechanicals and download mechanicals. Also print, which is lyric sheets, things like that. And they also collect for ringtones and also for synchronization, which is your composition put to video. So like they'll collect from YouTube on your behalf and stuff like that. Now, of course, as I said before in the past, the performance rights organizations such as ASCAP and BMI and CSAC, they collect and pay to you the writer's share of the following songwriter royalties, which is live performance and broadcast on TV, digital performance like streaming and satellite radio, public performance as in bars and clubs, restaurants and things like that, especially with like jukeboxes and the digital jukeboxes and all that good stuff. So basically that's what ASCAP and BMI and CSEC do. Now, another question is, 
how do I get these royalties? Because you'll get them from TuneCore no matter what. Because, you know, TuneCore does this on your behalf. And if you sell in a different country, it's still going to collect those mechanical royalties. What about ASCAP? Like, what if you start getting radio play? Will ASCAP collect on your behalf in other countries? And the answer is yes. Same thing for BMI. They collect on your behalf. Now, let me read something I got from ASCAP's website. And it says, performance royalties earned in foreign countries are an important source of income for many ASCAP members. We have agreements with foreign societies representing virtually every country that has laws protecting copyright. We cooperate with these societies in a number of ways to ensure our members receive royalties for performances of their work in foreign territories. When ASCAP works are performed in a foreign country, that country's Performing Rights Society tracks the performances, collects the license fees from the local music users, and then they forward the royalties to ASCAP for distribution to the artists or bands or the whatever. So their agreement is reciprocal, meaning that they will also license the works of foreign society members in the U.S. and send the data and fees on to the appropriate society. So the U.S. does that for them as well. So when you think about it, it's not that hard to kind of break out into another country. It seems like it'd be crazy, like, ah, you know, where do I start? But if you have distribution, like TuneCore or whatever other one, you're set. They collect the mechanicals from the downloads, the streaming, all that good stuff. If you're on ASCAP, BMI, or whatever, you will get foreign money. So it's set up. You don't have much to worry about. There are th That's basic, but there, there are some other things like Sometimes the foreign areas, like they have certain fees that are different from the U.S., so you might get a little more, or you might get a little less, or whatever. But it's still, they do collect on your behalf. So how, how can you do this? Like I said, you can place ads on like Facebook and Instagram that'll be shown in those countries. You can start calling those countries to try to book something. But like I said, it costs money to go over there and tour. Unless you're really, really getting big and you have a really good fan base, where they'll actually pay for you to go there is going to cost some money. You'll get some fans for sure, but if you have a budget for touring over there where they're not going to fly you in and pay you, then, it, you know, you got to be careful with that because you can go broke quick. <laughs> also, you can Google blogs and music blogs and things like that in different countries. Get a hold of them. Send them your stuff. They'll, maybe they'll review it or whatever. There's a bunch of them out there too. So I would give that a try as well. Now remember... This is basic stuff for indie artists that are trying to grow their fan base. Some of you might already be in other countries and that's great. But this is for people where they might not know where to start. They're like, this is daunting. Where, how do I start busting out into the overseas market? Well, it's kind of set up for you and you're, almo you're almost already there. The kicker will be when you're able to tour there and get money. That's when it's like really worth it. But you got to build the fan base up somehow. Either with ads and Facebook ads, they don't cost a butt ton of money. You can do it, you could set it up for like, um, five, spend five, ten bucks a day if you want. Try it out for a week, seven days, you know, and see what happens. Use different either videos of you performing or music video, little, little, little clips of it. It could be like a 30 second ad, album cover, they could click on your website, all that good stuff. And also remember who you're marketing to. Obviously, you want to, if you're hip hop, you want to market to hip hop people in that area. If you're rock, if you're country, just, you know, you got to remember who is your market and go from there. So I hope this video helps. I know it's a lot to think about, but it's pretty simple for the most part. When you really think about it, it's just, you just got to do it. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. Hit the bell icon. You'll get uh, notifications whenever I put out a new video. But there's a ton of old videos that you can watch with tons of information, tons. And please check the description below and you will see tons of things that could help you out. I've been talking about TuneCore and there is a link that they gave me for my subscribers that will um, help you out down there. So click that link and you'll get a deal to start distributing through TuneCore. And there's other things like Banzoogle down there. That is um, the place where you can create a band or artist website and it looks great and it's all like mobile ready and it looks great on any phone or ipad or whatever or any tablet so they also have a special link down there as well check that out and there's a bunch of other things so please leave a comment let me know what you think 
Have you gotten into the foreign market yet? Have you been over there to perform? Have you done anything like that? Let me know. I would love to hear about it. I'd love to hear the stories. Thank you, and I will see you next video.